Okay, I'm here with the girls of End of Watch, I guess is the best. There's female police officers, but you guys, in what would be seemingly a total male-dominated film, cops, gangs, you know, streets of L.A., all of that stuff, I loved what he did with the women in this movie. It was the first time I was kind of seeing you, so I was really excited. I waited to see what your name was at the end. <laughs> I, was like, I know that face. Where have I seen that face? And you were J-Lo girl, right? Yeah, bag, bag. That was like the first introduction to this life, period. actually. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to school to be a nurse, and she picked me out out of uh, 6,000 girls nationwide for a model search. So that kind of sparked up my whole career. Right, that's why I knew it. So, well, congratulations. I'm Thank glad you. she did. It all goes back <laughs> to JLo. Look at her. <laughs> um, but you really have the tough job of kind of grounding this film in, in reality, really, and, and kind of making these guys three-dimensional and, and human. And for you, I love one of my favorite scenes is the well, two separate ones, but when you're in the car with him, just like riffing on the song, and you're, I think you're going to Vegas or something, yeah. you guys are on like a vacation, you're like, oh, I love that. And then the wedding, the, <laughs> the or christening or something, but no, it's the wedding when the, you're telling yeah. her how to keep a policeman happy. Yeah, or a man. I mean, you can take or a man. <laughs> There's always various parts that a girl gets in a movie. You know, you're either the, the hot one mm -hmm. or the hooker or dead or a girlfriend <laughs> or a or mother. All the above. Or all of the all above. The above. <laughs> <laughs> at various stages, uh, you know, and, and everyone talks about it ad nauseum. And, and when it's incredibly true, it's incredibly not true at the same time. But um, as an actor, when you're looking at this and you're reading this script, did you have the, um, did you think at that moment that you could do as much as you guys did with these parts? Yeah, I mean, I think, well, first of all, I think you're absolutely right. I think that discussion, you know, is talked about, um, you know, the idea that the female roles are just the wife and girlfriend right. to, the, to the male leads. And I think if somebody had explained, you know, this script to me, you know, pitched it to me, I would have been like, that just sounds like a wife, a girlfriend, you know, like mm -hmm. it's not important. She's just a placeholder, um, you know, to there to support this male character. And when I read the script... Um, you know, it didn't feel like that at all. You know, that thought process never even occurred to me because it felt like they were um, so the heart for these men. You know, they mm -hmm. they talk about them when they're off screen. You know, mm -hmm. they go they go home to them, and it really um, it it keeps it from feeling like these are two police officers who exist in a vacuum, and there's nothing really at stake because they're just a badge, and you know, it, mm -hmm. it could feel like a video game. That's great. Well, you guys are all, congratulations. It's great to see you, and it's great to meet you. Thank and you've you. got, you're busy, busy. I see your resumes, you guys are working. And <laughs> mm -hmm. how's this been so far? How's the Toronto, how's the Toronto of it all been? It's my first film festival here. Oh, with the film. Okay. Yeah, I've never been to Toronto Film Festival, so it's exciting. And yesterday was just, it was so much fun. And we keep talking about it. The audience that we had yesterday was so amazing. Like, you kept hearing all these audible, like, gasp and, and people in awe and, like, just really shocked and, and, and excited about this film. So it's been such a great experience.